Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a drugstore makeup look for everyone. Um, I actually picked up this palette from Kmart and it's just a BWS, a BWS? Not the liquor store. BYS, wow, um, palette. And to me, BYS was just like that brand that your parents would buy you if you asked for makeup, like, because it's quite cheap um, and it's not, it's not bad, but it's not great either. But yeah, then I found this palette and it was only $16 and the colours are really nice. Like, they're actually quite decent. And the pigment of them as well. I just swatched that on the back of my hand. Like, it's not too bad considering $16. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this palette and a bunch of heaps of other um, drugstore products as well. So if you would like to see what look I end up with, please keep on watching. So as you can see, my eyebrows are already done. So I just used the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown to fill them in. And then to carve out my eyebrows, I just used the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. And I also used this to prime and conceal my eyelids. And then just to set my eyelids, I used the Banana Powder by Australis. So first of all, with the eyeshadow, I'm going to start off with the shade Toffee as my transition shade. So I'm just going to put that straight through the crease. So I've been really wanting to film for like the last two weeks, but I haven't because I've had a sty on my left eye. And I just didn't want to put any makeup on just in case um, like it didn't get better or it just got worse. And I like wanted it to go away as quick as possible. So yeah. For $16, this palette is pretty good. So far. So far. Next, I'm just taking the colour Royalty. And I'm also putting that through my crease just to darken up a little bit. Um, I really like the colours in this palette, actually. And they're working out quite well for me, thank God. I've used this palette before. I just haven't used it for, like, a whole um, makeup look. I've just used, like, the different colours for... Um, like with other palettes as well so yeah but these colors are nice and pigmented and they seem to be blending out quite nicely so that's a plus so once the shade royalty is blended out I'm just going back in with my buffer brush with the shade toffee again and just diffusing that color <laughs> Next, I'm just going to use the shade, the shade Shaded, which is this brown one on the end. And I'm just going to take that on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so the only bad thing I have to say about this palette so far is that it kind of goes, like it blends out nicely, but it's going a little tiny bit patchy. I don't know if that's my eyes or... The eyeshadow but we'll see now i'm just going in with the shade sundown and just taking that through my crease as well and then i'm taking the first color we used toffee and once again blending everything together i'm just going to go back in with that shade royalty and add it in because it's kind of gotten a little bit lost in all that blending. So now for the lid, I'm just going to take this Chi Chi um, Metallic Foil Eyeshadow in the shade Bronze. It's just this nice like gold colour. So I'm just going to pack that over the lid using a flat concealer brush. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to take the colour glow it's like this nice gold shade and i'm just going to use that to sort of set that foil eyeshadow down and now just going back in with my um fluffy brush and taking the color toffee once again and just going to blend the colors together that metallic gold and all the other eyeshadows all together so that's the eyes done for now now we're going to move on to the face and come back to the eyes later on my face i'm just using the nyx the next shine killer primer so i'm just going to take that and put that all over my face oh, i just got way too much oh. 
I'm gonna take that down your neck as well. Okay, the foundation I'm using today is the Matte Fit Me Concealer in the shade um, Sun Beige. So I'm just taking that on a angled buffer brush. I like to apply most of my foundations with a um, brush and then go back in later with my beauty blender just because I feel like it's the fastest way and I'm lazy. So the fastest way is always the best way for me. So I like to do like the bottom half of my face first and then move to my forehead after. I don't know why. That's just what seems to work for me the best. And if I keep looking down, it's because I have a mirror here. Sorry. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Blender. Beauty, whatever it's called. I don't even know what this is called. And I'm just going to take a little bit more product on that sponge. Ooh. And then just blend out that foundation we put on with the brush. It just makes it look a little bit more airbrushed. Okay, and then going in and doing the exact same thing on our forehead. For concealer today, I am using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the shade Medium. I can't open it. Oh my god. Okay, we got it. Yes, if I have a lot of energy in this video, it's just because I had coffee this morning and I haven't had coffee in a while. So it's made me quite hyped. So now I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty, beauty Blender Sponge thing on as you go and blend that out. So now once that is all blended out, I'm going to take the Chi Chi Real Minerals Translucent Powder. I'm just going to take that on a brush and put that on all the places we just concealed. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Australis Fresh and Flawless in the shade Darkest Brown. I'm just going to take that on my big fluffy face brush and apply that everywhere else. To contour today, I'm going to use the AC Contour Palette by Australis. And I'm just going to mix these two shades together. is it that it looks so much more harsh on the camera than it does in the mirror like why can't you just both look the same I'm wondering so I don't really love this contour palette but it's the only drugstore contour drugstore contour that I have so it will have to do but it just goes very Patchy, you know? Oh. What is that? Oh my god. There's literally nothing like. Oh, okay, maybe there is. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Okay, I think it's it. Okay. That's. Contouring done. For bronzer, I'm going to use the NYX matte bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. I'm just going to take that on my cheeks and over my forehead as well. Now for blush, I'm just using Down Boy by The Balm. 
so now I'm moving back to the eyes so I'm taking that palette again and I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did on the top on the bottom so we're taking toffee and just putting that straight under the eye taking the orange shade in royalty again on the lower lash line and then the shade um, sundown as well just to make it a little bit more orange I'm not going to use the uh, dark brown shade we use on the top on the bottom just because I feel like it's already smoky enough under the lash line now so for lashes I am going to use the Ardell Wispies, these have already been used so they're just chilling in the packet. So I'm just going to put glue on one of them and then while the glue dries on this one I'm going to do my mascara. So the mascara I'm using today is the Essence the False Lashes Mascara. Once that glue is semi dry, I just take my tweezers and hold on to my eyelashes. What I like to do to put mine on is just look, have the mirror down here and just look down at the mirror. If you close your eyes, um, your eye actually shrinks. So when you open your eye again, the eyelash will pop off. Whereas if you look down, it's so much easier um, and your eye stays the same size. So yes, here we go. So we just come in from the top and just pop them on. Then once the eyelash is stuck on, I just like to take the tweezers and pinch the fake eyelashes and my real eyelashes together. Now I'm just going to do the other eye. So just while my eyelashes were drying, I just took the same mascara and put them on my bottom lashes. Now to hide that lash band, since we didn't put any um, liquid eyeliner on, I'm just going to take this black out of the Chi Chi Mattes palette. And I'm just going to take that on a small brush. And just run that over the lash band if I can find a mirror so my camera decided that it would switch itself off and stop filming and I didn't even notice but um, while it was off I just used the sleek highlighter and I just took these two shades and mixed them together put them on the put them on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, nose and just above my eyebrows and then I've used the NYX lingerie um, liquid lipstick in the shade ruffle trim. So that is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed using this palette. Um, so if you would like to go get your hands on one. They're really really good for only $16. I'm very happy. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.